Hello, this is Haku Debian, and I am here with r slash liminal reality, which is a separate about liminal spaces, which is a very interesting concept that I recently started to revisit in my YouTube recommendations and started to think about it a little bit more. It's basically places that are supposed to be transient, but you're there. And you're not using them to transport yourself from one place to another. It feels like you're there in the wrong context or for all the wrong reasons. It's hard to really explain, but it gives off a sort of uncanny feeling. And with this subreddit, there, they, it's only pictures. There's not really any text other than the names of the posts. So I hope you're actually watching properly because this video is going to be quite a drag on quite a boring one if you aren't. Anyway, if you liked the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this. Red Room. Creepy, but that's pretty much what we expect from Liminal Spaces. Don't forget to look ahead. I'm not playing sound because I don't know how safe that is. End of the road. Oh wow, this road just ends. Pacific Mall. This is empty. It's kind of cursed, honestly. Hey, yo, you got uh, images? Is that big? Okay, let's go. This is called Descent. It's a staircase. See you later. Whew. This is just kind of a pretty picture, honestly. But I can see why it might be a little bit of a liminal space. It does feel a bit outside of time and reality. Which is another aspect of liminal spaces. It's, it's a space or a place that when you are there, feels uh, odd, wrong, outside of time and reality, you know? When can we leave? Empty rooms are always a little bit creepy when you're actually in one. Like, I've moved a lot as a kid and as an adult. Going into a house that has no furniture whatsoever is always a little bit off-putting. And being in a house where you still have um, boxes that haven't been unpacked yet, or you have boxes that are being packed, will always feel a little bit like you don't really belong in the house yet. Hmm. <sighs> Now we're looking at some liminal yards, I guess, of houses, like this one. Pretty unsettling. 
But honestly, the house looks a little bit cursed in general. Maybe it's just me, but I like how it's flat here and then it just suddenly slants upward. And then it just drops down and just goes here. Like that roof is just weird. Springtime in the 2000s. Hey, I was born in 2000. Anyway, this looks like a mostly empty town. Oh, geez. Um, before I moved to where I am right now, I had to walk through a small town to get to the grocery store to buy stuff. And the walks were always really, really uh, quiet if I wasn't listening to music and it and always um, was unsettling. Which is kind of why I always is blared a whole, whole bunch of loud music in my ears whenever I went on these walks. The Cellar. Okay, this is just a horror movie basement. Basements are the worst. Because they are always terrifying. Serenity. Hush. Yeah, this looks like a hallway. I think it might be even a school hallway and like... Schools when they're when class isn't in session are always really oddly creepy. It's always been that way. When you go to a school and classes aren't in session or it's nighttime or heck, you're an adult or you aren't attending that school, it's going to give off a weird vibe. This is why this is one of those places that when you're there in the wrong context, like a school without uh, you learning from the teachers there, it gives off the vibe of it being wrong and you being there being incorrect. Because our brains are hardwired for the context as much as they are for the place. Shouldn't be awake yet. Oh yeah, another sort of liminal space is any place you are where you are awake before everyone else. It's always a little bit creepy. My neighborhood. Oh wow. Once again, e empty e open fields are just terrifying in general. I literally live on one now. It's terrifying. I mean, sure, there's cows and horses out there, but it's still scary. Endless sky. Wow, that's terrifying. What image is more liminal? This one, or this one, um, they're both pretty liminal actually, they just have different types of uh, liminal of ideas. This one is a room that can clearly sit, eat at least three people with nobody in it except for the photographer. This one is a huge empty field with even um, plow lines, but no plants. Welcome. This is not welcoming whatsoever. Scary house. Scary and ugly, dang. <laughs> this is a lot of bright colors for or, or a place that you're supposed to live in. That would hurt my eyes so badly. 
like the is stairs here look like they're made out of sponges. Like SpongeBob, but just became stairs here. And that rug, actually, that rug's alright. It's probably the most tame thing in this house. But yeah, this house is pretty scary. Welcome back. Welcome back to the neighborhood. HOAs be like. Childhood memories. Another part of liminal space is um, they have a bit of a nostalgia effect. Where you go that or and the day you remind you of, of a time when you felt how different and that can bring about a liminal feeling. <sighs> like going to a childhood playground as an adult. Why should I if I went into playgrounds I used to hang out in the, while I was a child out now, I would be a little bit unsettled. Also, I'd be back in a town that won't accept me for who I am, so that's a bad idea. The end of the line. This is a dark hallway with a blue line leading out to the only exit. They see what we can't see. This one I'm going to have to zoom in pretty hard on. I don't get it. <sighs> Home. It's a nice house, I'll give it that. Bit cozy, but definitely liminal. And for some reason, it does seem to bring back some sort of memories. But I can't quite place them, it just feels familiar. Have a nice shopping. Me when I had to go out after dark. Window to nothing. Nice. Skinny diving in the liminal pool. Why does the pool feel liminal? This one's really hard to explain. Maybe it's because uh, it looks like it's a hotel, a motel or hotel complex, and this pool is completely empty. When usually in the motels that are doing anywhere near or decent, the pool is full of a whole bunch of loud, annoying kids. Actually, no, I was one of them when I used to go into hotels. Painting practice. Trying to learn something about interior light that makes spaces look liminal. That is true. Something about this light does make this space look very liminal. A dying mall. Well, all malls are dying. That's just a part of um, things like Amazon and AliExpress existing. But yeah, this is very low and on very creepy hmm. weird clouds clouds are pretty weird but also this is a really good liminal space picture it's a place that you probably wouldn't want to stay around and the clouds really just add to the atmosphere of a time just not moving Half bed and mall. It seems like malls are a really good um, place to go if you want liminal space pictures because malls are kind of a dying breed now. And if you go in one when there's like almost nobody there, you can really see it. 
I feel like something is watching me. There's a hallway that then leads straight into darkness. Where you can't see anything. However, of the uncanniness of liminal spaces is going to be a fear of the dark. A lot of these liminal spaces you, you might have noticed are just normal places in the dark. Until next time. That is a really blurry picture, but... Dang. <laughs> okay. Childhood cartoons in post-Soviet era places. Pretty creepy, I guess. Yeah, we didn't really need to see that, but okay. But why? Okay. So this I thought it might be a somewhat a liminal picture. I can see it. Back door of a clubhouse. I don't know. Inside a clubhouse. Oh yeah, stairs are always gonna invoke a slight sense of fear in me. One, they are liminal technically, but also Amari kind of, of ruined stairs for me forever. The back of the school grounds. Huh. That's pretty creepy though. Went on a little nighttime walk. Whew. I think one of the greatest things about going out at night is that um, feeling that the space is that is normal for you. Is suddenly now a little bit more creepy. Home. So empty. Terrifying. The door that goes nowhere. I think that's enough. If you liked today's video, which was quite, just quite a lot of pictures and not much else, then please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I might be getting into some more normal content again tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see. Until then, goodbye!